Hello and welcome to the 1000 Curiosities channel. Today's video is about the snouted cobra, also called the banded Egyptian cobra. The snouted cobra is a species of venomous snake from the Elepide family. It is found in the south and northeast of Africa, in Botswana, south of Mozambique, Malawi and Zimbabwe. It is a terrestrial, nocturnal species which is found in very diverse habitats from very arid savanna until highly humid areas. It doesn't live in forests and usually seeks a lair in abandoned termite mounds where it lives for years. The snouted cobra is a relatively large snake. An adult cobra can reach between 1.2 and 1.8 meters, but it can also reach up to 2.5 meters in length. The color of their dorsal scale can vary from yellow to brown, grey or blue-black. Their offspring are yellow and yellow-green. They usually have a large black band that surrounds their neck. The adults get gradually darker, sometimes with lighter scattered spots. The 7 to 9 yellow strips on their body start to distinguish better when they reach about 60 cm in length. The yellow strips are around half the size of the dark strips. Some individuals have a single yellow strip on their neck and a few more on their tail. Its scientific name is Naja anulifera and was recognized as a species in 2004. They love relaxing in the sunshine during the day next to their hideout. Being a nocturnal species, they go hunting after dark. It is a very aggressive and extremely venomous snake with a neurotoxic venom, an untreated bite causing respiratory failure and death. Like other cobras, when it is bothered, it lifts its head, extends its neck and starts to whistle. Adults can lift about 50 centimeters from the ground. However, the Egyptian cobra is also a defensive species and will look for the nearest hole to hide. It feeds on frogs, rodents, birds and their eggs, lizards and other snakes. Many times it sneaks around human dwellings, choosing chickens as a prey. Their natural enemies are the birds of prey and other larger snakes. It is an oviparous species and lays between 8 and 33 eggs in the beginning of summer. The snakelets have a medium length between 22 and 34 centimeters. In the past, the snouted cobra was considered a subspecies of the Egyptian cobra, but later it was classified as a distinct species. Its venom is both neurotoxic and cytotoxic, that means it is toxic to cells. The polyvalent antivenom neutralizes its venom but thankfully, their bites on humans are very rare. This snake was first described in 1854 by the naturalist Wilhelm Peters. According to the scientists, the snouted cobra doesn't have any known subspecies. Specialists reckon that approximately 60% of the dogs bitten by snakes in South Africa are caused by the snouted cobra. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Are you a snake lover? Have you ever been bitten by one? Are you scared by them? I would love to know what you think. Please write in the comments section below. My name is Christian and until the next video, all the best.